My mother and I really are under a lot of pressure at the moment. We had a look at our accounts and... We're taking you out of school. We're not taking you out of school, we're transferring you. The film's basically wish fulfillment of all the things that I wanted to do when I was the age of the character and didn't do. You see, she's beautiful. How come you're not in school? I'm a model. Cool. Do you want to be in a video for my band? Do you want to be in a video for my band? He doesn't have a band at all. We need to form a band. And that's his way of impressing her. What's this? All work. School in the morning. This is school. You know, we went for music that was more nostalgic from that period, like Duran Duran, The Cure, and all the various different artists you see in the movie. It's not exactly the Beatles, is it? I mean, look at this guy. He's not even singing live. It's a video, Robert. It's art. Everybody's making them these days. Look at it. Each of the songs in the movie is imitating a different style of music from the 80s. And it's really fun to recognize a song that you haven't heard before because you kind of get what the style is. What the hell, Rufina? We wanted to write songs that felt like they'd been written in the 80s. In a sense, I think the 80s really were the last true decade that just didn't sound like anything before. So when we were doing the music, it was like, we wanted the songs to be as good as an 80s song, as catchy and as hooky as an 80s song, but good in their own right. The way I look at it is kind of like the 60s, the 70s, every time they just got more eccentric and the 80s just hit that point where it was just that little bit over the top and people started really challenging things. I mean, it's, it's great, the music's great. <laughs> It's wonderful to make a movie that is not just with music in it, but a movie that's about the joys of making music. And that's what John's movies are really about. <laughs> no woman can truly love a man who listens to Phil Collins.